Welcome back. I'll go over the dot plot technique in this video. I will discuss its principles, examples, dot plot interpretation, analysis, applications, limitations, and dot plot software as well. A dot plot is a graphical technique used in bioinformatics that enables the comparison of two biological sequences and pinpoints the areas where they are most similar. Gibbs and McIntyre first introduced it in 1970. It is one method for using a similarity matrix to visualize the similarities between two protein or nucleotide sequences. Two-dimensional graphs called dot plots compare two sequences. The top X and left Y areas of the rectangular arrays are used to represent the sequences to be compared, according to the principle used to create the dot plot graph. Such that the residues from one sequence are found in the columns and the residues from another sequence are found in the rows. Every coordinate where there is a similarity between the sequences is plotted with a dot. As an illustration, sequence 1 is written at the top, and sequence 2 is written in the matrix's left area. Interpret the similarities after drawing the matrix. Take the first nucleotide from each column and row and search for bases that are similar. Put a dot where the two bases meet if they are similar to one another. Leave the area and move on to the next one if the bases are not comparable. Then, using the second base from the row and column, locate the bases that are similar. Continue until the entire sequence has been completed. Draw diagonal lines to connect the dots now. The matrix's analysis demonstrates that the similarity regions are represented by a diagonal row of dots. The following is a list of uses for the dot plot method. It is used to display every alignment that could possibly exist between two sequences of nucleotides or amino acids. Different types of local and global alignment can be detected. It is beneficial to be aware of the wide area of similarity. It is an excellent technique for figuring out the sequence's transposition. The location of genes between two genomes can also be determined using this method. This approach has some drawbacks in addition to its advantages. Longer sequences cannot be aligned because the graphical representation requires a lot of memory for longer sequences. It's noisy because there are many meaningless matches. The product of the length of the sequences and the search time determines how long it takes to compare two sequences. Means that shorter sequences are more efficient, while longer sequences are less efficient. GCG is commercial software, so continuous use is not possible. We can use the EMBOOS package, which includes the following, in its place. Dot matcher, dot path, poly dot, and dot up. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.